Hey guys, my name is Bianca Bruce. I'm a business and branding strategist. And this is a conversation that I have often. And actually, it would surprise you who I have this talk with. It's about entrepreneurial mindset. So we've all heard that word, being an entrepreneur, I'm an entrepreneur, and I don't know what comes up for you when you think of entrepreneur. So take a second. What do you think of? Do you think of somebody who has a lot of money, a lot of prestige, has maybe a huge following, has a lot of influence, makes a lot of money from their endeavor? I think that entrepreneurs are people who we sort of, um, we esteem them. We lift them up on a pedestal. In my 20s, when I was just starting out thinking about what it is that I wanted to do, how I wanted to show up in the world, and how I wanted to participate in the workforce. I was a young mother. I was a woman who um, had an education or has an education, but my education didn't really transfer to the United States. So I felt a little bit stuck. I didn't really know how to apply myself to the workforce, but I also really had this value that I hadn't yet articulated, but it was deep within me of having impact and seeing my work have impact. So in every single thing that I did, whether it was waitressing at Shoney's or, um, you know, being a telemarketer at a uh, funeral parlor, which we'll talk about that some other time, I really wanted to see how I could make a difference. And that became really important to me. So how does that connect to being an entrepreneur? I thought that being an entrepreneur is all about having status and having the money and having a genius idea because that is sort of what our culture tells us but if you go back to the word of entrepreneur and you look back at the definition of what it means you will see that it's a a person that takes a chance and that takes accountability and that takes ownership of a project it's someone who is willing to assume risk. Now, oftentimes we associate that risk with financial risk. And yes, when you start your own business, you will have a lot of financial responsibilities and you will take some risks with that. But it's bigger than that. It is about a mindset. It's about how you apply yourself to the work that you want to do. And it's about your value proposition. So for me, that is about impact. I don't know what it is for you, but sit down for a moment after you watch this and ask yourself, how do I know that I am doing a good job? How do I know that I am successful? And if you're not really sure how to fill that in, ask yourself, how do I want to make people feel? And if you're not sure about that, ask somebody how you make them feel. How does your work, your service, your product make them feel? And they'll tell you. In that, you will discover somewhere a value proposition. So back to entrepreneurial mindset. Here are three things that I have found really help me have that mindset. And I wanna put a little asterisk in this, and I wanna tell you, if you don't own your own business, do not tune out. Your entrepreneurial mindset is key to your success in your career. Whether you are a teacher, a hairdresser, a telemarketer, it does not matter what you do and what your title is. It also doesn't matter whether you own the business or not. Your mindset and that entrepreneurial mindset will help you excel in your career. So what do you need to have that mindset? I bet you already have all of these things, yeah, I just want you to line them up and intentionally use them. So first things first, be decisive, make a decision and stick to your decision. See things all the way through. Be able to be flexible when you get feedback, but be decisive with what it is that you said you were going to do. Be willing to overcome challenges, whether those are challenges that are presented by other people or pushed back by your team sometimes, or even your customers. 
be willing to overcome the challenge of not succeeding right away. Entrepreneurs, when we see their or listen to their success stories, we think that they went from zero to 100 overnight. That doesn't exist. Be willing to overcome the challenge of resistance. So that's the second piece. And the third piece is always accept responsibility. Always say to yourself, how could I have done this better? How did I contribute to the outcome in this? And responsibility isn't something you accept only when things are going poorly. Responsibility is something you accept when things are going or not going. To accept a responsibility means that you evaluated the outcome. You evaluated how things are going and you accept your role in that and you are willing to go again. So one of the things that is a common denominator in entrepreneurial success and the entrepreneurial mindset is to continue to innovate, to continue to solve problems that come up, to be willing to fail and not let that failure define you, to go again. So I want you to know that the entrepreneurial mindset for you could make the difference in anything you are doing, personally or professionally. And that it's not just for those who run giant companies or have big ideas. That entrepreneurial thinking and the entrepreneurial mindset is about taking something on, owning it, and going as to the best of your ability, doing the best you can, and can be consistent with it. So with that definition, what comes up for you? What are some of the things that you would want to tackle and apply this entrepreneurial mindset to? What are some of the decisions that you want to make? How can you be um, equipping yourself with your skills and your talents and your experience to overcome some of the challenges that you know you're going to be facing and, and preparing yourself to be willing to overcome challenges that you don't yet anticipate? And how can you accept responsibility for the things that are going really well and for some of the things that inevitably will go poorly? Take that as your learning curve, take the initiative, and go. I'm so excited to see you succeed by your own definition in being entrepreneurial and being willing to make a difference in your life and in the life of those that you are immediately surrounded by. I think the world is a better place when people use their skills and their talents for good and use business as a way to make a difference.